think about technology and, and tourism. It's amazing how these bits of history. I've done my bit. Oh, well, yeah, it all went ahead. But when this was written, we had no idea how it was going to go. So um, it's a fairly, I, well, I was very proud and pleased to find that. If you actually went to World Expo 88. Wow, fantastic. I also worked on the Olympics in Italy, the Olympics in Beijing, and the Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, together with a World Expo in Shanghai, and uh, a Mexican bicentenary, and a few other odds and ends around the world, all of which have given me a chance to see what happens after these big events come to a city. And normally, there's very little left. For those of you who actually came to Expo 88, I'm sure you have very strong memories uh, and probably a lot of photographs, but it's very hard to explain that to people who weren't there. If you have visitors from overseas and you want to tell them what it was like in Brisbane during those days of Expo, it's very hard if, if you don't have something tangible to show them, to let them know what it felt to actually be in Brisbane during Expo, which I've heard from many, many visitors over the years was for them a defining moment in Brisbane. It was a, a time that they felt Brisbane had come alive. And for me, it's really interesting coming back now, which is, what, 30, 32 years now since Expo, to see how Brisbane has changed in those, those years in between and how much it's changed since 1982 when I first came to Brisbane for the Commonwealth Games. And I remember in Brisbane in 82 driving to the stadium was then the QE2 stadium on the day of the opening ceremony and there was nothing to see on the way to the stadium and the day after the opening ceremony there were flags everywhere you've got no idea suddenly it was as if Brisbane felt you know, proud of, of the ceremony no one had been prepared to put up an Australian flag the day before but after the ceremony suddenly Brisbane was on the map and that's what the great ceremonies and the great events around the world can do, but only if, if the legacy of the event is kept alive, because the memories, the photographs don't mean much one or two generations later. So it's very important just here in Caboolture to see an actual sign that was at Expo 88, and of course there are many other parts of Expo 88 that can't be here, but luckily we have soon to be unveiled one one of the very important memories uh, that people took away from Expo. I, I think I'll have to leave it to Peter to explain the importance of the, the living sculptures that all of you who went to Expo would have seen. But again, for me, it's really important that you keep the memory of Expo alive by encouraging people to support the movement to keep the legacy of these events alive. And hopefully in, 1930, in 2032, uh, Brisbane will be the host of the Olympics here. And that, again, will be another major, major opportunity for Brisbane on the world stage. And for all you and all your kids and grandkids, an opportunity to re-establish a new set of memories, uh, a new set of photographs, and a new set of leg legacies. So it's been a great privilege and an honor for me to have been involved with two of the two of the great events that took place in Brisbane, and for me, it's a little nostalgic to uh, be here today to see the unveiling of these sculptures. Thank you, and I look forward to being here in 32. Okay. Thanks very much, Rick. That was great. Uh, I think the unveiling now, Peter. Yeah. Yeah, so, well, who's going to do it? And I just want to welcome Mr. Alan Pigeon, National President of the Australian Flag Association. Put your hand up, Alan, please. There we go. Welcome, Alan. He's now a bright shade of red. I don't know why. <laughs> so we've got some uh, volunteers to uh, help uh, do the unveiling. Yes? How do you want to do this, uh, Peter? This is what everyone's here for. Well, uh, Rick and yeah, Sir Frank, um, but in. I think we need a cast of thousands. Right. Okay. Which direction you want the stuff to come off? That way? I think it goes that way. Yeah. 
Yeah, that way, that's the easy part, that'll be the hard part. Alright. Excuse me, sir, before we start... Alright, okay, we got, we got, we got a party crasher here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, yes, my name's Mike, I am the world crier for Australia, and I am so proud because I started my career at World Expo 88. Now, we're going to unveil this wonderful gift that was given to the historical village this week. Are we all happy? Yeah. I can't hear you. Are you all happy? Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we go any further, I'm going to teach you something, and you're going to learn something here today. We have a knight. Yes, a person who's been knighted here today. <laughs> yes. Now, very exciting stuff. He was born in November 1930. So that means he's going to be 90 years old this year. I think we should have a party. What do you think? Oh, yeah. What'd you say? Yeah. Yes, I think we should have a party too. Isn't that right? Are you be happy with that? I won't, I won't, I won't tell you who it is, Frank. <laughs> uh, so it's his birthday. Oh, look, he's here. The girls, I've seen you before. I'm a hornbow. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the boys will meet up with you at the bar later. Okay. Okay, who's going to help the road? I need some volunteers. I need someone who's going to be the boss. Ma'am, please, you. Come here, please. Please. What's your name? Hayley. Hayley, you're the boss. So, Hayley, you can pick this fellow here. He's a good boy. Grab him. And we'll get a couple others. Volunteers. Sir! Yes! Come on in! Oh, looking good. Are you up for it? No. Okay. Okay. Oh, you got it. Come on. Put your hands together for young How's guys. That? Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Very good! I'll just wait for the train to go by. Roger, do you want to come up and stand next to me? Roger. President of the Caboolture Historical Village is going to do a thank you, I hope, I think. Yes. We're going perfectly on time. My name's Peter Racy. I'm the Director of Collections, and I collect um, these various artefacts. Uh, Jason is our president. Uh, of our uh, little association and Greg Riddell, who I cannot see, um, is uh, Director Without Portfolio, yes. So this wonderful piece is called Saving Captain Bly. Now Captain Bly is being saved, as you can see, surf lifesavers. Um, and these are all actual individual people who um, stood and were cast like this. It is a process where they are cast in plaster of Paris and then it is cut off them and that then becomes the reverse mould and then fibreglass is laid on the inside of the plaster of Paris and then the plaster of Paris is chipped off and that is the result, resulting uh, outline. Um, and it is, this is, has an amazing story. This piece was down at the um, Gold Coast for many, many years uh, until the um, current mayor, Tom Tate, uh, thought that it was something that should be deacquisitioned out of the Gold Coast's collection, which thank God, because now it can perform a wonderful role 
up at the Caboolture Historical Village, encouraging nippers to join, uh, but also really deepening the narrative of the Expo 88 memory um, up here at Caboolture. Uh, the artist company was called Art Busters. The series for Expo 88 was called the Human Factor Series. There were 88 individual pieces, um, which includes more than just the people themselves. So the hat is probably an extra bit. I've never actually been able to get to 88, to be quite honest, because there are billies and fires and all sorts of different things. So you either get slightly more than 88 or slightly less, but not exactly 88. But John Underwood, uh, the creative brains behind it, uh, he knows, but he just hasn't told me. Um, it is an amazing piece, uh, as I think you will agree, and it is really fantastic that the Caboolture Historical Village really now has uh, not only the toilets from Expo 88, which they do, the signs from Expo 88, a wonderful collection of artefacts from Expo 88. Greg Riddell, who was, you know, conceived and born at Expo 88, I, I understand, is that correct? Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, Roger, come over and do the vote of thanks, please. Thank you very much, Peter, and welcome to our important VIPs here today, the people that are uh, preserving history through Expo. And uh, this, that's what the historical village is all about, is preserving history. We've been doing that for in this particular spot now for 40-odd years. The society started 60 years ago, and we're proud of what we've got here. And thanks to Peter and, and his drive, um, the opportunities to able to be able to have Expo here and preserve that history is just marvellous for us and marvellous for all those concerned. It's all about preserving history and we've got to, to be always like to thank our pioneers who fought so hard to preserve and continue to preserve the history of Caboolture, Queensland and also Australia. I'm here today with some of my other friends too, which I'll just introduce. We have Agro, we have Molly Meldrum, we have Dame Edna, and we have Kath and Kim. I'm, my name's Michael J. Dundee. I'm the crocodile man, that's why I'm walking around with a croc under my arm. Say good day to all, that, all my friends as you walk around the village. And the mongrel bush ranger over here, Daryl. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's, it's an honour to have you all here. And what better place could you celebrate Australia Day in than here? Thank you very much. So that's basically it. I want to thank everyone for, uh, for coming and joining in with this. But I'm going to ask a big favour, please. Please come and take selfies with your phones, please, of these statues and the signs behind you. Make sure you post them on your social media. Just tag Kabulti Historical Village. Tag, tag World Expo 88. Join the World Expo 88 uh, Facebook group. We'll make sure that you get access to that. Uh, but honestly, in the 1980s, there were no selfies, no, no mobile phones to take. It was back in an analog era. We're now in the digital era. Please come and take photos with these statues. A wonderful Australia Day uh, memory. So thanks a lot and uh, enjoy the rest of your Australia Day. And the next is the Yes.